Welcome to Highline BI348 class video number 38. Hey, if you want to download this file, BI348 chapter 2.5, import 8 for the Excel file or for the text file. And don't forget, this video is about importing 4 million rows of data. So you got to get that zipped folder and unzip it. Now let's go take a look inside that folder. Here's the folder unzipped. There are actually eight text files, and that will be our first example. Each one of them is about 28 megabytes. And then there's this crazy Excel file, and if I open it, each sheet here, there's eight sheets, and each sheet has like four or 500,000 rows of data. So we're actually going to import this. And if I close this and go back and look, that file is 177 megabytes. So we're going to actually import that one in one example, get all the sheets together in one data set. And in the other example, we'll import these text files. But in both cases, we'll take a lot of data with a big file size and reduce it down to a small file size. And our goal is ultimately to take all the sales data and make a pivot table. Now I'm going to go over to our first sheet, eight text files. And this is in the text files. Now let's go to Power. Or query, and we've seen this a few times before, from file, from folder. We tell it where the folder is. There it is. And when you use Power Query to look at a folder, it will import everything. And remember, there's some text and some Excel in there. So I'm going to click OK, click OK. And this opens the Power Query editor. I want to make sure and name this, give it a smart name. Import eight text files, 4M rows, for 4 million rows. Now this is the text files. So I want to be sure and come to the Extension column and filter out the .xlsx. Click OK. Now because these are all text files, we don't need any of this. I can right click, remove other columns. Text files are certainly a lot easier to import and gather up into a single data set than Excel file. I'm going to click this little drop down. And we're allowed to do this and expand because it's a text file. Now, it did a few steps over here. If I go back to import CSV, you can see it got all of the data sets. And the first text files field names are listed here. But notice in this second to last step here, promoted those field names into the first row. But guess what? That step only did the first file. There are seven other files below that have these field names listed as records. And we don't want that. So the trick is we want to pick. Whichever column has the fewest number of unique records, and I'm going to select Website. Now when you use this Filter option on a large data set, it'll say List may be incomplete, and you always click Load More. And now we have a complete list, and there's Website. Notice that that is the field name. If I filter out by unchecking Website, it means down below it found Website in this Website column, but it will filter out all of the field names in those files below. I'm going to click OK. And there are our steps. There is our name. I'm going to close and load to. Now we want to check only create a connection and then add this to the data model. The data model is where the data will be stored. And the data model is efficient at storing data in a much smaller file size. So when I click Load, now it's all loaded 4 million rows there. But I want to go look at this sheet columnar database, because that's what the data model is. A columnar database takes a data set like this with field names and records and rows and stores each one of the columns in a separate column, only storing the unique records, and builds a map that connects the actual raw data stored in the columnar database back to the original data set. Now this columnar database is efficient at reducing file size and at performing analytics on the data set. Now I want to come back over to eight text files. And we want to access that data model and those 4 million records using Insert Pivot Table. Or we can use the keyboard Alt-N-V. 
and we want to use an external data source. That means we're actually accessing the data model, which is not in a sheet here, but it's external in the sense of that it's behind the scenes. Choose a connection over to tables. Now this data model, I'm going to select the data model here. And later next week, we'll see how to not have a single table, but multiple tables and build relationships. But here we just have a single table. And click Open, click OK. And whoa, look at that. I can uncheck the table. And all I want to do is see, I'm going to bring Website down to Rows to get an instant unique list. And I want to sum the quantity sold at each website. Immediately come up to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular, right click, Number Formatting. And I want to say something like Number with a comma. Click OK. Now, Control S, because we want to go look at the file size. And here's our file, 18 megabytes. So it took 4 million records and reduced the size down to 18 megabytes. That is pretty amazing. Now we want to do the same thing, but we want to do it from an Excel sheet. So I'm going to go over to the workbook. Chapter 2.5, Import 8, Excel files. All right, so I'm on the eight Excel sheets. Power Query, From File, From Folder, Browse. There's that folder. It's got text and Excel. Click OK. And there it is, all the information about the files in that folder. I'm going to be sure and give this a good name. All right, I give it the name Import 8, Excel Sheets, 4 million rows, and Enter. Now this time we want to filter out the text and leave only the one single file and click OK. I don't need any of the other columns. Right click, remove other columns. Now this little button here to expand only works for text. For Excel we have to add an extra column. We've done this a few times already. I'm going to call this Get Excel Data tab and the Power Query function, Excel.Workbook, open parentheses. And I'm going to say, hey, go get, look at the content, which could be things like sheets and tables and defined names. I'm going to click OK. We don't need content now. Right click, Remove. Now I can click the little arrow going to the either side to expand. Remember, that's the data, that's the sheet names, that's the kind like table defined names and sheets. Click OK. All right, now we only have sheets. We actually don't need the sheet names. We don't need anything except for the data. So I'm going to right click Remove Other Columns. Now we can click that little button to expand. Click OK. It's not quite as polite as the text. We're going to have to come up to the upper left hand corner, click the little icon, and say Use first rows as headers. We have the same situation where we need to filter out all of the field names below. So I'm going to select this column. It has only a few unique items. Click Load More. There's my unique list. I'm going to filter out Website to get all those field names from below. Click OK. I have my steps, my name. Go up to Home, Close, and Load To. I'm only doing a connection. And I'm going to add this to the data model and click Load. And there it is, 4 million plus rows of data from our Excel workbook. Now we want to access it using our Insert Pivot Table or Alt-NV. I'm going to use an external data source, choose a connection, over to the Table tabs. We have one table in our data model, so I'll select that and click Open, click OK. All right, in the pivot table field list, I drag Website down to Rows, Quantity down to Values. Oh, look at that. It's counting. Now, a number field dropped into Values defaults to sum. That can only mean one thing. That source data is incorrect. I'm going to come over to the query, right click Edit. And sure enough, look at that. That's date and time. That one is any. I want to change the, the type to date and time. And each one of these, text, text, quantity should be whole number. 
discount and retail, I can highlight them both in decimal number. And now when I click Close and Load, it will automatically reload. Now I'm going to drag this off and try this again. Let's try quantity down to values. And just like that, it defaults to the sum. Right click, number formatting, number. Use a decimal, and I definitely want zero decimals, and click OK. Wow, that is amazing. I'm going to Control S and go look at the file size. So the Excel file is about 24,000, and the text file is about 18,000. But that is amazing. We significantly reduced the file size. But more importantly, we imported 4 million rows of data from text and from an Excel file and made a pivot table. All right, next video, we'll see how to import multiple tables and create a relationship between the tables so we don't have to use VLOOKUP. All right, we'll see you next video.